In our last video, we discussed disabling procedures related to welding on electric or hybrid vehicles. In this video, we're going to talk specifically about how to search for these disabling procedures using ICAR's website, next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Here's how to conduct a quick search of disabling procedures using ICAR's online resource, OEM Hybrid and Electric Vehicle Disabled Search. To search for a vehicle, click the blue OEM Hybrid and Electric Vehicle Disabled Search button on the left-hand side of the screen. Select the year, make, and model from the drop-down menus, then click Search. A search results page will load. Select the vehicle from the list of search results by clicking on the blue text. The make, model, and year of the vehicle, along with a small picture, are displayed near the top of the screen. There are also links to OEM repair information, the hybrid and electric vehicle article hotspot, and OEM-specific emergency response guides. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to access the high-voltage battery disabled procedure on the OEM website. The instructions can change from vehicle to vehicle depending on the year or how the OEM created the service or body repair manual. Access to the disabled procedures may require a subscription to the OEM service information. On the right hand side of the page, next to the step by step, is a chart that identifies if a scan tool or high voltage DVOM is required in the disabling of the high voltage battery according to the OEM procedure. These are identified using an X under yes no or not identified. Not identified means that the OEM does not specify in the repair information if a scan tool or high voltage DVOM is required to disable the high voltage battery. The next thing you'll see is a battery layout graphic that gives an approximate representation of where the high voltage battery, 12 volt battery, mid voltage battery, and high voltage disconnect are located on a specific vehicle. Each component is color coded according to the key at the bottom of the image. Hybrid welding best practices and refinish precautions give important information for the repair process of the vehicle. These precautions and best practices help to ensure the battery and other high voltage components are not damaged. The welding best practices and refinish precautions are typically quoted from the OEM. In the event these are not provided by the OEM, ICAR best practices and precautions are shown. Here you may also notice paint booth temperature specifications and steps to take before welding on a hybrid or electric vehicle. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.